Hi, Steve from Custom Table Tennis, and I'm going to do this video about anti spin rubbers. We don't sell a great deal of them and they're a little bit out of favour, but somebody was asking about anti spin. And when we rather than do a lengthy emails in return, uh, when somebody's asking us a question, we can just link the video. So we're going to do this one once and for all. Probably one of the most famous, and I don't know if it was the first or not. But I've got a catalog, uh, a colour catalog going back to about 1985, and this is in there then. So I'm not quite sure when it come out. Butterfly Super Anti, it's one of the original anti spin rubbers. Um, it's not actually the slickest anti, so there's a tiny, tiny. I don't want to start marking up rubbers, but I'll do it up here. There's yeah, there's not much, but it's not like one of these new slick um, anti-spin rubbers. Uh, usually bought in 1.5, it's somebody who's chop blocking or a defender or... But very, very easy to play with, but not a great deal of effect off any of these rubbers. And to be fair, they're a little bit out of favour and people would actually prefer some form of pimple. Pimp, this is notoriously bad to hit with and then when you hit it just tends to die and any decent player can play against it I mean, back in the day very very popular uh, we'll bob it on the sponge so it'll give you an idea of the weights yeah they're usually quite light as well because they've all got this well most of them have got this soft porous sponge very very soft um, absorbs the pace so if you are struggling with somebody's spin serves or you just play for leisure or you just want to get the ball back or you're just coming back to it it's not a bad idea but it's all it does really is send a neutral ball over which is a ball without any spin so anybody who can play or just flat it through you and unless you're a good player and you've played with it for donkey's years another popular one in fact this one's this one's a little bit slicker it's not completely slick but this one again are, this is at least 30 plus years old they've not changed anything about it it's soft uh, it's got anti-power on there ITHF approved JTT AA approved um, it's on another this one I believe the thinnest one that dirt that it comes on is a 2 mil and it really, this one does take the pace out of the ball. Another anti-spin, bob it on the scales. Yeah, a little bit heavier because you've got the uh, two millimeter sponge. So those, these are like yesteryear rubbers, if you like. They've been around forever and a day. People like them um, and it, well, they are what they are. Moving on to modern day stuff then, and well, I've got four examples from Spinlord. Um, let's have a look at this one. Now this one, it's a, it's a Spinlord, it's another slick one, but actually it's got this really absorbent sponge. I mean, I, I had a, a, few, a go with this for a little bit of fun. Um, we actually we sell the sponge separately it comes on this sponge that weighs absolutely nothing it weighs 12 grams 11 grams so it comes on this dampening sponge and it looks like the same sponge that is going under some of the um, long pimples to dampen the dampen the play so this one is a little nice and slick this one 36 grams so it's even lighter because of the really porous sponge made in China quality control is very very good on these um, again we're not going to sell these in huge amounts in fact I should mention in case I forget we've literally got a, a clearance on pimples and anti-spin because we can get them in 24 48 hours we don't need to keep massive stocks so we've got clearance on these i think the, we've got these at i don't know 14.99 something like that then they brought out a gigant 2 um and it just keeps going and going basically what this is is 
I think it's a, it's a lightly sanded surface. Oh, is that the sand wind? Let's have a look. Let's see what it says. One of the slowest rubbers in the world, gigant sponge. Instead of dampening sponge on this one, oh, they've, they've used a, a slow controlled sponge on this one. So it's gonna be a little bit faster than the dampening sponge version. It's probably got a very, very similar top sheet. A little bit heavier, I bet, I would imagine. Yeah, a little bit heavier. 49 grams on that one. Um, yeah, this, the one, it, this is the one that I believe, yeah, this one is a little bit different. So the top is not made slick or slippery. This one is another process of making anti-spin where the rubber is made and then the top sheet is lightly sanded. I mean, sometimes when I get rubbers back, they're, they're actually better than these. I think I, um, I'll, I'll drop it in now. I'll probably forget it. As I shoved in a video the other day. I mean, this is probably the worst rubber I've ever seen. That is completely slick. Um, that's gone like anti-spin. So sometimes if you leave your rubbers long enough, you're going to be playing with anti-spin without actually knowing. But this one, sanded surface. Um, it's got one of the harder sponge. It still feels light though. Yeah, 53 grams, 51 dropped down to a little bit heavier. When this first came out, we sold an awful lot. So if you are struggling, if you don't want something that's ultra slow, this is the, probably the one to go for because it's, it's like, it reminds me of a part used rubber. It's got a little bit of grip there. So if you, if you do get over the ball and you go up the back of the ball, you're probably going to lift off that, be able to lift off that one. Uh, moving on to this one, look at the pictures. I do like Spin Lord. They actually sent, a, they've got a particular artist that does all this and they sent us a nice coloured catalogue with all these pictures in. Um, Quokka, now this one, that's got a little bit of grip. So this one's got a little bit of grip. This is what's called half anti. In other words, it's not a reverse, it's not a complete anti, it's half. So a little bit of grip on there. It's got a fairly quickish sponge on that one. It's a little bit harder. It's probably gonna rebound a little bit more. Let's have a look at the packet of this one because as I say, there's that many of them. Soft top sheet surface has been sanded. So it's another one that's been lightly sanded but probably not as much as the sand wind. Uh, and that's all the Chinese. No dampening sponge on this one, but no glue effect and lightweight. So if you don't if you don't want a lot of weight on your bet, 45 grams, the quokka is probably the way to go. Moving on to something completely different. And these is this is the last two that I'm gonna gonna do because I don't want to spend a lot on time on anti-spin because I don't cannot think of an anti-spin play around here. Um, there was a one lad who was very good with it, but he's moved away. Where the new bower ant is different, and these are classed as a glanty, which I suspect is a cross between glass and anti. So glanty, these, literally, you get a warning with these, and anybody who um, buy these, buys these, no matter what glue or how you put on, they are a nightmare to get off without destroying them. As you can see, best way to take anti is not to pull it off like another rubber, is to gently, simply take a knife or spatula. To be fair, it's a real faff trying to get them off in one piece. I've spent nearly 15 minutes getting this off. If you pull it, you're gonna destroy it. Um, New Bauer, I think these two, we've got these on the sale as well. Um, this one's been around a while. Uh, very, very light, and it's got this, so you, even though it's got this sticky sheet here, I won't pull it right off, and it leaves sticky, they still recommend that you go over the top uh, with a little bit of glue, and that's just to help get the thing off. We've just got a phone call, so we'll be right back. And we're back. Uh, as I was saying, this one, I don't want to mark these rubbers because we've actually got to sell them. Um, if I put it up there, absolutely nothing. So with the others, you can get away with an angled bat. So you would be looking at, 
I'll bring bring one in actually. So you would be with the bat almost flat because if you get over the ball on that stuff like that, the ball's just going to go down. It's just going to slide around and go down. So out of them all, I won't say it's the difficult, the most difficult one to play with. It's probably certainly the most effective because there's absolutely nothing on there. But if you th if you so difficult to hit with because it's such a flat hit you got to hit at the back of the ball and if you're slightly over it it's just going to go down i've seen people play with it i've watched videos of actually it might not be in this it'd be in the next packet because this has been around for a while so we'll get that one out of the way then um this is the latest development uh from from newbauer and we know it's co-developed with spin associated uh, it's an italian um, company that they've co-worked with with the ABS3 um, pricing wise it's a little bit of a mystery to us why this has to be um, 47 pounds 99 I mean it and, and I don't know if we can pick up on there I mean this is new I've just taken it out and actually the gorilla has got if you put the two together it's a different compound completely but if you have a look at the two you can actually see the pimples through the gorilla and i think that's 10 years plus been around not this particular sheet but the rubber's been around that amount of time this one you can barely see the pimples through it um very very slick they're both they're both slick so it's all going to be about it's all going to be about the the sponge the the abs3 the dampening one i believe i did put this on a bat and then i sold the bat i had a had a quick go with it and it's you can just get the ball back you can create a lot of mischief with this this stuff but you can't it's not as versatile as any form of pimple whether it be medium long or short it's just going to get the ball back and set you up for your forehand or if you're coming back to table tennis and you really, really we've got another phone call so we'll be right back and we're back again i'm not going to spend much more time on this um as i say this is the latest offering very very slick um well, well i don't know whether i weighed that one as i say it's got this back on it um 45 grams on the gorilla which is a 1.5 sponge very 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 thin and then on this one it actually feels lighter but I, I don't know it's exactly the same on a two mil sponge so it's lighter and porous but I, as i've said i mean the, i would imagine new has had umpteen complaints hence why they put this little warning in i mean seriously pull the tip and then the sponge in about two to three milli, millimeters at a time I've done one and I barely, barely salvaged it. So this is not a rubber that you're gonna be putting on and off and on and off, not even on a glue sheet, because what happens when you start bending it on a glue sheet is all this thing crinkles and it's just unsalvageable. Uh, 47.99, I wouldn't. I think we've got these on sale for 37.99 because we've had them around and if we want one we can get one in 24 48 hours anyway so a little bit of an insight um oh yeah i should probably mention if this and we've got another call and we're back again that um, I've, I've had one interruption and possibly two but never three but hey that's that's a good thing it means that we're uh, we're doing some business but as i was saying about this um it, it, it's really really tricky i spent 15 to 20 minutes trying to get one of these off and it wasn't absolutely perfect i managed to flat it out a little bit for to go on so somebody else could try it but it, it's a bit of a shame when you're paying 47.99 um a full price on these as i say we've got these coupled to clear and then it's just probably worth mentioning this guy here if you want to know how to use it i'm not even going to go there with his surname but luca only what is he he's not even 25 yet um if you if you google this guy he absolutely 
causes havoc with this and we'll look at everything that he's done but he's, he's a pretty much a one-off i've not seen too many more if if i'm wrong you can correct me i don't know any world-class um anti-spin players because usually the top players can just go through it um i didn't want to spend too much too long on this but because we get lots of questions and emails and things it, it's just as easy if you send us an email we'll probably um politely reply and then send you the link all about these anti-spins and then you can have a close look at it then you can ring us back if you've got any more questions rather than me doing this uh, time and time again over the phone uh, it's steve from custom table tennis hit the like and subscribe and get your equipment from custom table tennis.co.uk we are just selling at the moment in the uk it's so much hassle selling overseas so if you're watching this from overseas sorry at the moment we've not been able to find anybody really to do uh, any postage under under 30 quid and that's ridiculous when you want a, a piece of rubber so we're not we're not going to do it at the moment bye for now